Ladies and gentlemen, can you please give a round of applause for Mr. Hezam? Good morning to you all. Good morning. Uh, it's an honor to be here today. Um, I can say that I feel like I'm part of the family because when I came, I lost count of the people that actually greeted me and wished me well, so thank you. My name is Ezai Jobo. I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm a Shona speaker, so I'm sorry I won't be able to uh, use a bit of Pedi, Swala, Sutu, uh, but I'll try my best to use that language that we know English. Yes. So, when I was invited, I actually wrote a speech to say I am going to say this. But after Reverend spoke, I had a Eureka moment. I had an aha moment. Based on what he spoke and what I saw. When I look at you, I see a community that is hope. When I look at the matrix in their nice uniforms, I see future leaders. And do not discredit yourself, do not discount yourself in any way, because you can. Now, what did I learn from the pastor? From the reverend? I don't know if it's politically correct to call you pastor. Apostle. Apostle. Okay. Apostle. <laughs> uh, he says in his words that human beings have always been driven by a quest of knowledge. Right? The quest for knowledge is what drives us. Now, I am going to try and extrapolate from his sermon. Oh, sorry. Uh, Tehua. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and extend from where you left off. So with your permission, sir, can I continue with your sermon? Thank you. Talking mass. The quest for knowledge is a substance for growth. The reason why we are here is so that we grow as a people. What do I mean by growth? I mean economic growth, I mean spiritual growth, I mean growth in every facet of life, in every area of your life, you need to grow. If you were earning 3,000, 10,000, uh, five years ago, and you're still earning 10,000, that means there's no growth. Because mathematically, with the effect of inflation, you're actually losing out, you're not growing. So, be creative and find ways of multiplying. Because if you believe in the Bible, the Bible says, go out into the world and multiply. But some of you, I know, you think multiplication is about making babies. <laughs> yes, it's part of the multiplication, but multiplication should be growth in every area of your life. So, Matrix, I am here standing on behalf of SABC. Uh, they sponsored me for this book, which I distribute across the country. Uh, uh, it's called The Mathematical Genius in You. It's a motivational book that tells you that mathematics can be done. <coughs> what is it that those who achieved mathematics, what is it that they did? Why is it that every other child from Zimbabwe can do maths, but if you come to South Africa, it's a crisis? Why is it that a six-year-old child in Japan can do almost metric level mathematics? Why? I spent six months in Japan just looking at those kids, just trying to understand. And I discovered that their growth model is amazing because learning is not just about the metric learner on his or her own. 
Learning is a communal activity. Learning is about you, the mother, you, the father, you, the brother and sister, learning together with the matriculant. If I may ask, let me just go back a bit. How many of you here are met geniuses? <laughs> uh, be honest, be honest, don't like this. How many of you? Uh, remember, can I ask you to stand? Sorry, can I ask you to stand? These two are statistical analysis for me, the visual statistical analysis, right? How many met geniuses do we have? Okay. Uh, now, next question. How many of you believe in Christ? <laughs> okay. How many of you believe that what you say in the Bible is true? Okay. How many of you have faith? Faith. That's yes, I can. Whatever comes my way, I can conquer. Okay? So, uh, Pastor, I'm sorry to say, but this church is full of liars. <laughs> yes! I, you know what? You know what I've done here? I have mathematically proven that this church is full of liars. Because you, you proclaim that you believe in the Bible. You, pro you proclaim that whatever comes your way, you will conquer. So I didn't say whatever comes your way, excluding mathematics. So. <laughs> so please, let us all practice what we preach. Let us not spread the way that mathematics is difficult. Because in our studies, what we have realized is that the difficulty in mathematics, especially in South Africa, is not as a result of the dumbness of the children, it's not as a result of laziness, it's not as a result of poor teachers. The biggest problem is the community. Wherever I go, and I say I'm a mathematician, and I don't just say I'm a mathematician, I say I am a genius. Everybody starts respecting me. Right now, if you didn't want to listen to me, but you heard that I'm a mathematician, I'm a math genius, now you're listening. Because you think there's something special about me. There's nothing special. Right? And you as a people, oh sorry, I'll not use you, we as a people have to make it a point that we spread the word that beds can be done. A lot of kids go to by grade one. They know that it's socially acceptable to get 30% in math. It's socially acceptable to be mediocre. Now, if you say that you have dominion over everything, then let us have dominion over mathematics. Let us grow. Because do you know the benefits of mathematics? I am telling you, with mathematics, you can become anything you want to be. If it wasn't for mathematics, I wouldn't be standing right here in front of you. Maybe I would be in some village in Zimbabwe. But I am here right now, standing in front of you because of mathematics. I've worked in Las Vegas uh, as a gaming mathematician, right? I used to calculate your statistical and mathematical models for games. Those casinos that you play in, to say, are they cheating you, are they not cheating you, you understand? Before any game is commissioned to go on the floor, I will check to see whether the software is working properly, whether the math and stats models are okay. And you know what? I was competing with people from Harvard University. I was competing with people from Cambridge. From all the Chinese as well. Those people are really great in math. The Chinese. Amazing. So, matriculants, do not 
endeavor to become number one in your class. Do not endeavor to be good enough to get 30%. What is 30%? But endeavor to be a citizen of the world who can go anywhere right now and be able to compete. So, you might say it's a, little, it's a little bit too late for me. I mean, my street, it's April. It's never too late. It's never too late. And Reverend, I must commend you. I like your model, yeah. Your model uh, is, is amazing. The fact that you have the graduates, right? The graduates are here. They are motivating the matriculants, right? Now, can I ask you to try and further it forward and say that each of these graduates has got something to offer to these matriculants? If you take 67 minutes a month, it adds value to someone who is not your biological child. Are you not edifying that person's life? So, graduates, <coughs> not graduates, it's like a graduation ceremony. Graduates, okay, please make it a point that you adopt a metric. You understand? Adopt a metric, help them with whatever knowledge you have. You might say, uh, not meant, I'm a sociologist, but I know sociologists do statistics. So I know that you will be able to help them with that statistical component, right? Do something. Even the rest of the, of the congregation, even if you don't know maths, make it a point to say, okay, I'm organizing an after school uh, communal, uh, what do you call this, gathering, where you take the, all the kids in your street, put them together, they brainstorm, you are just there to keep the order. Even if you don't know mathematics, you say, have you got the answer? Did you understand the problem? Did you, you just ask questions? Whatever questions, but do something. As long as we are not proactive, as parents, as learners, we will never get anywhere. This song that melts the crisis will be sung forever. So, we need to change that. We have the power to change that. We have the dominion to change that. Do we believe? Yes. Do we believe? Ah, yes. uh, your yes is weak. <laughs> Do you believe? Yes. Do you believe? Ah, uh, do you believe? Yes, I do. Do you believe? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. But anything can be done. As a parent, if you are going to tell your child that friends is difficult, it's going to be difficult. Do you believe? Yes. Do you believe? Yes. Ah, uh, come on, give me the energy. Do you believe? Yes. yes. So, uh, I've brought a number of books uh, that I've given. Uh, I hope you'll be able to distribute them. Uh, make use of all the things that are out there. On SABC, there's, uh, there's quite a number of programs that are there. And try and catch me. I sometimes teach on the very channel on SCB as well. So, thank you for your time. But